tuned for another interesting episode. How do you make sure you profit and not lose more than you have to? Know your orders. Let's learn about a very handy tool called Stop Limit Orders and protect our assets. We're here on Poloniex and if you go down to the bottom here and go to Support Resources, you can find all of the explanations of how all of the features on, on these exchanges work. And usually they all have a help section like this. So stop limit orders. A stop limit order is an order to place a regular buy or sell order, also known as a limit order, when the highest bid or lowest ask reaches a specified price, known as the stop. This can be helpful for protecting profits or minimizing losses. The stop limit box has three inputs. Stop. Think of this as the trigger price. If you place a stop limit order to sell, it will turn into a regular limit order when the highest bid drops to or below the stop. If you place a stop limit order to buy, it will turn into a regular limit order when the lowest ask raises to or exceeds the stop. Limit. This is the same thing as the price on a regular buy or sell order. Once your stop limit order has been triggered by the highest bid or lowest ask, reaching your stop price, it turns into a buy or sell order for the price you enter in the limit field. Amount. This is the same as amount on a regular. Buy or sell order indicates the amount of coins you wish to buy or sell should your stop limit order be triggered. So it goes over some examples here which I will let you read yourself, but here is how they would do it. So they're selling 100 Litecoin, and they want to sell it at 0 0.023. It's now at 0 0.026. You've made some profit, but you're feeling good about Litecoin and think it has nowhere to go but up. At the same time, you're aware that crypto is volatile and tomorrow's headline uh, could cause the price to crash. How can you hold your Litecoin, but make sure you get out if a crash comes. Place a stop limit or order with these parameters. So the stop would be 0 0.024, the limit 0 0.023. So the stop is the price it's waiting for to actually um, submit the order to the market. So the order is hidden until it reaches this price and then it's activated to sell between this price and no lower than this price because that's your limit you set that you want uh, your your limit to be so it can sell no lower than that price. You want a decent amount between these two prices because if nobody's asking or offering what you want to sell yours for then it could skip your order and not trigger and then keep dropping. So you want a decent amount between these two numbers to give it a chance to sell and, and give someone a chance to accept your order. So let's see an example of this. Let's do it with Bitcoin and US dollar. So right now, Bitcoin is at 7,329 US dollars. So say we want to protect ourselves if it goes down below 7,000. We think that if it's if it hits seven around seven thousand, that means it's on a downtrend and it could go a lot lower if it reaches seven thousand. So we're going to uh, do it this way. On Poloniex, the stop limit order box is in the middle, so you have to use this middle box. It's the same box for buy or sell. You just press buy or sell depending on what you're trying to do. So the stop price we're going to put. Seven thousand and one dollar. The limit we're going to use seven thousand. You could put seven thousand two dollars if you want to be sure that your order is triggered. We're going to sell point zero one Bitcoin for seventy dollars. So you can see exactly if you forget what your uh, 
what your order is going to sell at by the total amount you're getting. So then you would press sell. If you used this box, I'll show you what happens. So let's press sell here. And it's saying if the highest bid drops to or below 7,200, an order to sell at the price of 7,000 will be placed. So if you try to do that here with just a limit, which uh, when you use these boxes on Poloniex, they're basically just regular limits, but there's no stop in there. So if you place an order to sell, limit sell at 7,000 of 0 0.01 Bitcoin, it's going to automatically trigger that and you're going to have sold it for a lot less than it costs right now and someone's going to get a great deal. So the only reason you're, you want to sell at 7,000, you don't really want to sell your coins. You just want to protect yourself if it starts dropping. So we don't want to sell right now. We only want to sell if the price drops to this. So that's when the order's triggered. So if we press sell right here, it'd probably pop up a warning telling us we're about to sell it at a lot lower than the, the going price. And I'm not going to do that just in case it uh, actually sells it. But I know on Bitfinex, it uh, for sure gives you a warning. So I'll show you what I mean here. So same thing. If we tried to do a limit of $7,000, it's going to tell us that we're about to sell below the ticker price. So you want to cancel if it says that. And you want to put a stop limit in. So now we go ahead and put a stop price of 7002 so that it doesn't go to the market right away. It only triggers if it hits that price. When we press sell, it's not giving us any warnings. It's just telling us we don't have that balance because I already did this tutorial once and the audio didn't record. So I already uh, put my stop orders in. So I'll cancel those and now let's try it again. And you know for sure it goes through when you get this notice. I actually just pressed it twice by accident. And uh, yeah, so you see it down here. You see those two stop limits I just put in. Protecting yourself. You can do that with any token. If you want to find all these features on Bitfinex, you can go to this question mark and go to their knowledge base. And that will take you to this page, their help center. And you can see right here, there's a stop limit order section. And same thing here. You can read if you forget how to do it. You can read up on it. We will do tutorials in the future for things like uh, margin trading and some of these other more advanced orders but really all you need to know for now the most important thing to understand is the stop limit orders uh, if you're just getting in because you want to protect yourself from losses because when I was uh, first getting into crypto I bought a variety of different coins some of them went down 10 to 100 times and since I was away from my computer not really paying attention I didn't notice and sometimes you forget what you bought it at so right after you uh, place an order and you buy tokens this is when you should put that stop limit order in there to protect yourself you should always protect every token you have with stop limit orders so if I had which I did uh, make a total of about 20 times my investment only because Bitcoin went up thousands of times. If I had put stop orders in on all my uh, tokens, I would have made a lot more because I wouldn't have lost certain percentages of my uh, investment on some tokens. So basically what you're doing is you're setting yourself up to only profit and not lose. If you are on Bittrex, the stop orders work a little bit different. Let's say we want to sell it at 0 
which uh, on Bittrex, the minimum has to be equivalent to 0 0.0005 Bitcoin. That's the minimum order size. And if you can see here, it's taking a bit of a, a fee. So I'm actually going to have to uh, put the price up a little bit. <clears throat> a normal limit order, which is the default setting, would work for that. See, we placed our Mona sell order. But now, let's say you want to do a stop order. Let's say you bought it at 0 0.003 and you want to protect yourself from losses. So say you're away from your computer. We want this stop order set in place for a future date and only if the price starts dropping. So then this is where the stop limits come in. But on Bittrex, it's called a conditional order. And then you have this little uh, tab down here where you can go greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So greater than would be for your stop limits when you're selling at a higher price, less than would be at a lower price. But remember again that this is the sale price and this is the price that it triggers at. So you might want to put this at 1.9 and press sell. It's in conditional order, your sell order will submit when the next executed trade is less than or equal to 0 0.00019. Like I said, that order, that price there is when the sell order is going to submit. So it's going to uh, be active once the markets reach that price. This order will activate and then it will sell at the price that I stated. But you don't want your coins to go down multiple times. You want to get out when it goes down like 10%. You want to have gotten out by then so you don't go down 1,000%. Uh, so that is uh, your stop limits for most exchanges, how they work. If you have any other questions or um, tutorials you'd like me to do, just leave a comment in the comment section below you can also leave your bitcoin address and if i'm feeling generous i will transfer some bitcoin into a random person's wallet i'm crypto keith this is crypto living we'll see you on the next video